Hi everyone. This is just a quick video. I wanted to jump in here. I made a video this morning, but I have more information now. Um, Cheryl of Yarn with Yarn and Hooks, Grandmother Goosey, has taken a turn for the worst. Uh, she um, started throwing up blood all through the night. She's now in sort of a comatose state. They're keeping her comfortable with morphine and um, the family's been called in. Cheryl called me this morning and wanted my advice and I think she asked Chucky also. I just talked to her husband Chuck on the phone and she did call her father. I, I thought it would be a good idea since it is his mother that she should call and let him know what was going on. So um, it's just a matter of time right now. It could be a couple hours or it could be a couple days. But um, it sounds like her, from what the doctor said, her internal organs are shutting down. So I just wanted to let everyone know um, we need to pray for Cheryl. This Chuck said this is this is really going to hit her hard. I think the reality of losing her mom is going to um, really be uh, quite quite um, unrealistic to her. And I think the reality of it is going to hit her when when this happens. Um, her fa excuse me, her father did show up. Uh, according to Chuck, but he started, he started, he started in on her, and it turned out he said he had, you know, the papers and all this stuff, and Cheryl called her attorney and sent the papers over so he could see where she had signed over every, um, the power of attorney and, and to, to Cheryl and Chuck, Cheryl and Chuck, so, um, so it's just a matter of time, but she is um, she is going to meet her Lord here very quickly. And I just want to let everybody know, and when she does pass, I'll let you know. And if you want to, and I think I'm going to go ahead and do this without even asking Cheryl, because I think she's going to need all the support that we can get her. But in the bottom, in the description below this video, don't email me. It's right going to be right there. I am going to put in her address so that you can, if you want to send her a card or whatever, that you can. And I will come back and let you know. Um, I will keep you posted as we go along. Okay? So um, I'll go in. I've got her, I got a pad here with her address on it, and I will put that below. But I'm going to say goodbye right now. Um, he's going to have her call me. Um, if When all the family gets there, she might need a little walk out. And maybe she'll call me later tonight. But um, the father and the father's wife is there. The Her brother, half-brother, is there. Or step-brother. Her step-brother is there. Um, her, her, her grandmother's sister is coming with all of her family. So all of all of her grandmother's family will be there to surround Cheryl and be there with Cheryl because that's what she needs right now. She needs the family to be there. And the ones that loved Goosey and um, helped take care of her over the, you know, the last few months and everything. Uh, Katie with the three kids will be there. That's her cousin. And um, so there's there's a whole whole gang of them on their way right now. So I hope that they will be able to stay with her until the end. And because she's really going to need it. So that's, that's the update. I do need to do another video and I will do that. But right now it's all about Cheryl. And I just wanted to give everybody an update. I'm going to post this right now. Uh, and I'll put her address there. So, um, and then I will keep you updated as we go along. Thank you very much. Bye, everybody.